Okay, we got some news. Got some news for you now. Got some news for you now on the shutdown. And here's what just happened. Uh, they got together in the House and with the president and said, all right, let's do this. Let's have separate bills to open certain parts of the government to get things up and running. And the, it's four separate bills. Uh, they have numbers. There. It's boring. But here are the specifics that are not. These bills would reopen the Financial Services Department. It would fund the Department of Transportation so that they can get the money flowing there. They would get money to the Department of Housing and Ur Urban Development. And they would get money flowing toward agriculture and rural development and specifically the Food and Drug Administration. So four bills, H.R. 246, uh, H.R. 264, 265, 266, and 267, and that would be a compromise that they ha can get have support for, and there's the smiling guy in front of the White House, one of our types waiting, but what we've just learned is these four bills ready to go, bipartisan support, we can get financial services, Department of Transportation, Housing and Urban Development, Food and Drug Administration, all these critical things for life, get them back up and funded, get the people in those areas back up and working, make sure they get a paycheck this Friday, all done, bipartisan, Republicans and Democrats, all good to go. They can pass it and we're ready, and the White House said no. The White House says, and I quote, moving these four bills without broader agreement to address the border crisis, that should be in quotes, is unacceptable. The administration looks forward to working with Congress to enact appropriation, appropriate legislation that adequately addresses the security and humanitarian crisis on our southwest border, which is arguably of their own making and gets the entire federal government back to work for the American people as soon as possible. And then it says, if these four bills are presented to the president, his advisors would recommend that he vetoes the bills. That's from the Executive Office of the President, Office of Management and Budget in Washington. So they have these four bills ready to go, bipartisan support. Republicans say yes. Democrats say yes. Let's reopen financial services. Let's reopen Department of Transportation. Let's reopen housing and urban development. Let's get money going to agriculture. Let's get money going to rural development. Let's get money going to the Food and Drug Administration. Let's get all of those presumably hundreds of thousands of people back up and working so that they'll get a paycheck this Friday like they're supposed to, so they'll be able to pay the light bill, be able to pay the mortgage, be able to, you know, do what they need for the kids, whatever life is, they'll be able to pay for it as they always thought they would be, and the White House says no. And in essence, the answer is we want our wall. We want our border wall like we promised, though we promised that the Mexicans would pay for it, so it's not the promise. This is not keeping a promise even if they were to get it, which the Democrats say they won't, it would not be keeping a promise. Because we remember the promise. How could we forget it? We heard it, I don't know. We heard it for a month of Sundays, hundreds of times. We're gonna, what are we going to build? A wall. Who's going to pay for it? Mexico. That was the promise. That promise is long broken because Mexico's not paying for it. Now the president says, well, Mexico really will pay for it because we've got this trade deal with Mexico, and that trade deal is going to kind of mean... It's a uh, tantamount to the, the Mexicans paying for it, which it isn't, A. And B, there is no deal that's done. That deal is not done. That deal is talked about. Individual parties have come together, but it's not done because it's with Canada and Mexico, and that deal isn't done, so that doesn't pay for anything. It's the president who wants the wall. His base widely supports the idea of a wall or a border barrier, whatever the semantics are today. We all know what they're talking about. But the country as a whole does not support it. The polls are very clear. The country as a whole does not support it. The president's base does, but the country as a whole does not. And the president said, I will own this shutdown. It is mine. I will carry the mantle for it. I am proud to own this shutdown. So the president owns the shutdown by his very own statements. When he shut the government down, he said, I own this, and he owns it. And now, in a bipartisan way, Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill have come together. They say they have bipartisan support. And right now, as it turns out, right at this moment, I've just learned seconds ago, right now they're debating this on Capitol Hill, expecting passage of all of these four bills within one hour. So they're debating it. They're expecting, it's 3.30 in the East Coast right now. They're expecting by 4.30, they'll have all four of these bills passed. And again, these bills would be crucial for families at home, crucial for government business, the Departments of Financial Service, the Department of Transportation, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, the Food and Drug Administration, 
agriculture needs, rural development needs, and all the hundreds of thousands of people who work there, if these bills pass and are signed into law, then those parts of the government would reopen. And here's the live debate. They're debating right now. But they say, we, we're debating because that's what you do on Capitol Hill. You have a debate. You get people to come up and say how they feel about things. But, you know, they count votes before they take votes. And the people who count the votes say, yes, we have the votes. Yes, we have bipartisan support. Are Republicans for it? Yes. Are Democrats for it? Yes. The leaders in Washington are for it, except the president says, moving these four bills without broader agreement to address the border crisis is unacceptable. The administration looks forward to working with the Congress to enact appropriate legislation that adequately addresses the security and humanitarian crisis on our southwest border and gets the entire federal government back up to work for the American people as soon as possible. So when the Democrats couldn't get him to reopen the government, they, along with their Republican counterparts, said, all right, let's try to get these parts reopened. Let's try to get these parts back to work. Let's try to get this money flowing so that the families and the workers have the money that they've been promised for doing the job that they've been doing, many of them. And the White House says, if they pass it, I will veto it. And the shutdown drags on.